Cameron, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. Just give us your first impressions of what you've seen. Uh, yeah, no, you know, I'm delighted to be here. It's a, it's a big club with, uh, you know, quality players and, and quality teammates. So I'm looking forward to it. Medical past and you've been training with the players as well. Just tell us about that. Yeah, no, it's been good. Uh, you know, it happened quite late on Friday, so I didn't have a chance to get down here Friday, but um, come down here Saturday to watch the game. And then obviously in training today and, and, and yeah, it's been good. I was going to say your new club and your parent club had very eventful uh, draws at the weekend, very differing games to watch. What did you make of what you saw out here? Um, you know, I thought, I thought it was a difficult game. I thought, uh, you know, QPR came in with a lot of energy and, and pressed well and, and, and done what they were trying to do well. But I think, I think a big positive from the game is, is that we didn't lose. Uh, you know, sometimes you're in games like that where you're not at your best, but, but as long as you're picking up points, that, that'll be, that's good. I know you didn't really get to see the Spurs West Ham game, but it all, all went on there as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I've travelled. I'm actually travelling back down here, so so I didn't get to see see all of the game. But but yeah, like you're saying, crazy game to come for West Ham to come back from three three goals down was crazy. You were linked with a number of clubs before you you came here. What tipped the balance to come here? Um, you know, like I was saying before, you know, when you look at look at the squad here, you know, it's a it's a squad full of quality players, and and you know, I believe that. You know, obviously you have to take it game as game games as they come, but you know, I think something something good can can come here. What are you hoping to take from your loan spell here? Um, you know, I'm just here trying. You know, I'm trying to help the team as much as possible. You know, obviously the squad's got goals and and the manager's got goals, and I'm just you know where I can help and where I can where I can help the team win games. That's what I'm trying to do. What type of player are you? How would you describe yourself? Um. Ooh. Obviously, I'm a centre back. I, was, like I said I take pride in defending and, and trying to keep clean sheets. Um, can play a little bit as well, but, but yeah. Seeing you described as a, a ball playing centre back, is that a fair fair description? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Um, you know, I can. You know, I like to think I can can play a little bit and and help the team in build up and stuff like that. Now you know a little bit about Dominic Solanke. Just tell us how you know him. Um, uh, to be fair, I don't know him on a personal level, but obviously coming when he was at Chelsea, coming through the youth teams and I was at Spurs, you know, we played against each other quite a bit. So so I know what he's like as a player, yeah. Now for anyone who hasn't read your player profile on our website yet, just tell us a bit about your early life and basketball in particular. Yeah, so I was actually, I was born in England, but uh, my dad was born and, and still lives in America. So, you know, I'd, I'd go there quite often when I was younger to see him and and he, he used to he used to play basketball professionally. So he played a couple of years in the NBA before before moving to year, to Europe to play. Um, so yeah. And what about other family members? Where are they? Uh, so the rest of my majority of my family are here in England in uh, Essex. That's why I grew up in Southend on Sea. So that's where I've been most of my life. You don't find many American internationals from Southend on Sea. Yeah, no, it's true. It's a, it's a weird one to be honest. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I I I grew up in Southend, but but my dad's American. Now you had four appearances for Spurs in cup competitions under Pochettino in 2016-17. Uh, Just tell us about the, your first experiences there. Yeah, no, they, obviously they were probably my first, you know, professional men's game. So so I definitely learned a lot in them four games. And uh, like you say, it was a good few years ago now. So I, I think I was only 18 or 19. So so I'm still quite young, but. Um, but yeah, it was it was good experiences and something I've learned from. Just tell us how you found your way to Spurs as a youngster. Um, so I've come through the academy there. I've been there since I was 11, and um, just kind of gone through the age groups, age groups like that. You know, so you come in when you're first at school as a schoolboy, and then you get your scholar, and then just go on from there. And Jose Mourinho's obviously taken over from Pochettino. Just what's he like to work under? Do you have much to do with him there? Yeah, obviously. I've only been with him this pre-season, but you know he's a very nice guy. He's um, very likable. He uh, so he wants you to work hard, but most managers do. And and yeah, as long as you as long as you work hard, give your all, he's a nice guy. And you're training and learning with some world car world class players there as well. Yeah, no, definitely. There's loads and loads of quality players at Tottenham, and you know training is tough. You know every day you're coming against Harry Kane or Sonny, and and it's difficult. But yeah. You've had a lot of experience of playing in the championship as well. You've had loans with Sheffield United, Ipswich, 
Swansea, Stoke and Luton. And I think you played with David Brooks at Sheffield United. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've been, like you just said, I've been along quite a few times. Um, and, you know, they're all different. You know, it's, it's all different experiences and it's all uh, different things to learn. And so, yeah, it's, it's been good. One huge experience you would have had at Luton last season when everything went down to the last day. Just tell us about that. Yeah, no, obviously it was exciting when I look back now, but obviously at the time you're 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 under pressure and you're a bit nervous. But but yeah, it was a great experience. You know, when I went I went there in January and I think we was nine or twelve points from from safety. So obviously to claw that back and end up staying up was was great. And a familiar face on the training ground in Graham Jones, who signed you at Luton, I believe. Yeah, no, he was a manager when I first signed. He, he kind of welcomed me to the club and, and, and made me feel welcome there. So, so yeah. What about the league in general, the championship? What can you tell us about your experiences of it? Um, I think it's a very tough league. I think any team can beat any team on any, any given occasion. And I think, you know, I think the main thing, if you go into every game ready to, to fight and and not expecting any any easy games, I think I think you'll be alright. And you would have seen on Saturday that uh, Bournemouth kept a clean sheet. It's going to be a tough team to get into as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, definitely. Like, like I've said, the, the squad's full of quality players, so so there's obviously going to be competition for places. And but I think you know overall that can only make the team better. So, but with with games coming thick and fast, there's no question that eventually you're going to get your chance and going to have to be there to take it when it comes along. Yeah, no, I think, you know, I think especially in the championship where you play 46 games, you, you know, everyone's got to be ready. Um, injuries or, or like you said, resting players and stuff like that. Um, everyone's got to be ready and that's, that's something that's going to be key if we can, we can keep winning games and stay up there. What's it like having a birthday on New Year's Eve? <laughs> um, it's all right, I guess. I mean, now I'm, obviously I play football. We oft, often play on New Year's Day, so I, I don't don't have time to do much. But when I was younger, I enjoyed it. Well, all the best for your time here, Cameron. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you.